Hi, this is Jeff from Wikipedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about a feature in Pro Tools called Window Configurations. Now, this feature goes beyond the capabilities of memory locations by letting you store the last screen location and size of any type of window in Pro Tools. Some of these would include, of course, the Edit and Mix window, the MIDI and Score editors, the Workspace browser, any plugins you have up, and any other type of window such as the transport or memory locations. So let's dive right in. To get to the window configurations list, you go to the window drop-down menu, go to configurations. Okay, and these are the options we have. We can launch the list here using Control alt j on a PC or Command-Option-J on a Mac. And that's what the window looks like. Very similar to the memory locations window. They both store various types of properties to be recalled later. But the window configurations feature focuses on Windows specifically. There's some functionality like that in memory locations, but really this is where you want to go to be able to store and recall windows that you've set up. The same options that were in the list there of the window drop-down menu are going to be here in this little drop-down as well. So we're going to go ahead and make a new blank configuration so we can flip-flop back and forth between one with lots of windows and one with no windows whatsoever. We'll call this Mix Scene 1. Now, you have two main choices here. You can either recall the complete window layout, including all windows, edit mix, targeted MIDI editor, transport display settings, or you can focus on a single window, such as the transport window or the edit window, and you want to save all the specific settings inside it, such as whether the side panels show up in the edit screen, whether you have IO or send showing in your mix view, and you could also put comments if you wish to notate what you're doing. We're going to go ahead and just save this window layout. And I'm going to make a second window configuration that's going to have all kinds of different windows up. And I will be able to quickly recall them using window configurations. So we'll do some of the standard stuff. Transport bar. We'll also bring up the automation enable window. And the big counter. As well, I want to go ahead and just have a couple of plugins that I'm going to be using a lot for the next, you know, phase of my mix. So I want those handy and ready to be utilized. I'm also going to make some changes to my edit view and take off some of these controls, get rid of some of these toolbars that I don't feel I want to look at. Great. So let's go and make a new configuration. And we'll call this Mix Scene 2. So a couple of really useful shortcuts, a couple of really useful shortcuts that I'll go over with you include how to bring up the list, how to put it away, how to, how to show or hide the window configuration list, as well as how to recall an individual window configuration. As I mentioned earlier, Control-Alt-J brings up the window configuration screen. And we have two mix scenes here. Now the way to recall them with the keyboard is if you have a number pad, you would use period, the number of the window configuration, and then the asterisk. So if I want to go back to one, I'll simply do period one asterisk. Now I'll jump back to two. So as you can see, we've actually flip-flopped through a whole bunch of different windows. Some things have shown up, some have gone away to reflect what I'm needing to do at that point in time. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of setup involved ahead of time, but it's well worth the time because, as you can see, you can really customize your work environment. So this has just been a quick little primer over window configurations. There's not really much more to it, and you guys should definitely check them out. It'll make your workflow go a lot faster in many situations. So thanks for checking out the video. This is Jeff from Obedia. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. 
Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.